Hello, I'm Llewellyn Falco, co-founder of Teaching Kids Programming. And at this point, we're going to go through a recap of the first recipe, Simple Square. And because you've gone through this really, really quickly, we found that there's a whole bunch of learning in here. With adults, we usually take six to eight hours. We find that kids are able to absorb it quicker and better. But nonetheless, there's still a lot of stuff. So we want to just slow down and go over it one more time for some of the things that you might not have picked up as we went through the first rush. So the first thing to notice is that the majority of things here are in green. And the color of the editor is actually quite important. It tells us a lot of things about the code. And you don't need to know what all the colors mean, but it is useful to know that they are trying to talk to you. And sometimes if you get confused, just paying attention to the color will be helpful. In this case, green means that this is text that's meant for humans and not computers. These are comments and they're going to be ignored by the computer if you run it. You can see running it here will do nothing. Next, we're going to start translating the code. So first the noun or the object, tortoise, followed by a dot. And I can go and I can use my arrow keys, but if I start typing, I will filter. So when I type an S, it will filter just the S with the H, just the H. And of course I can delete backwards and try different things based on what I want. If the thing doesn't come back, I can always hit control space to bring it back and show me my options. And I don't need to use the mouse. It's already highlighting the first one. I can just hit enter, complete my sentence with a semicolon. And when I do that, you'll notice the color invokes for both tortoise and for show. Let's run that. I'm going to use the keyboard combination control F11. Once I do that, I can go and delete my line. And you might have noticed that we skipped going to the next line underneath it. That's because the tortoise is not currently moving. And therefore, making it move at a different speed will not be able to show any results. And without being able to see any results, there's no way for us to know we got it right. This is a very important thing, and we'll return to it a lot of times. But programs get complicated, and they get complicated quickly. By taking a lot of very small steps, it stays easy and manageable. As soon as we start skipping ahead a couple lines, it's very easy to be hopelessly confused. So I'm going to go down to the next line that I can actually see a result, and that's once the tortoise starts moving. So again, tortoise, control space, filter to the M's with the M, and now I need to add this extra piece of information. Again, when I put the semicolon, it's going to color everything in for me. So, let's see it work first. Okay. And next, notice that between these parentheses, there's no extra information for show, because show is a complete command that you're giving to the tortoise. But down here for move, we need some extra information. It's also worth noting that if I give it extra information, like pixels, even though it's not needed, it's going to fail. And that's because computers are very specific. You can see here, it says that the arguments take one argument, move number. But we gave two arguments. And therefore, instead of ignoring it, it's going to fail. You can fix this, of course, by just putting it back. Let's see that work. And now, let's clean up our code. I'm going to show one more keyboard shortcut. Notice I'm in the middle of the line here, but by hitting Shift Enter, I can still get a new line underneath. Tortoise again. And to filter ahead, I can type TU. I want to turn 90 degrees. And we can see that work. Control F11 to run the keyboard. Now we start to get to the first place where it's complicated. Change the color of the line the tortoise draws to blue. So, tortoise again. I might think this starts with change, but notice nothing shows up when I hit CH. There is, of course, a lot of things to start with get, and that shows a pattern. But this is the pattern for understanding what the tortoise is currently doing. 
We don't need to know what the current color is. We need to change the color. So that's going to start with set. And one thing that might be worth noticing is that these start with small and then big letters. And each new word has a new letter. This is a thing called camel case. And it's called that because if you draw a shape around it, it kind of looks like the humps of a camel. So Eclipse understands camel case, meaning I don't have to type this whole thing. I can just type the letters that are relevant for camel casing. So the first small s of set, the next big P of pen, and the next C of pen color. And now the question is, what do I put in here for the color? Well, there's a couple of things I can do, but one thing I can do is I can just go over here to the documentation and copy. I'm going to use Control C to copy, and go over here and Control V for paste. Now I have the red dot here showing me that I need that semicolon, and let's give this a run. So you can see I got the red line, and that's close. And most of the time, the examples will get you close, but they won't get you there exactly. So you can see I have colors, reds, red. I'm probably going to need something like this for blues. So let's go back and get out of the reds. Hit the dot again. And you can see I have blues, one more dot, and blue. Let's give that a run. And now we can see the blue. Now that we've seen that, we can get rid of the line above. So there's one more thing I want to point out before we go on to the more complicated thing, which is that we have been translating all these things. You'll notice tortoise is a different color still. That's because it's an object. We have these blue keywords for our methods, red for the extra information. All of this is telling us different things. And it's important to pay attention to these as you go on. But even more important is to realize that we did a translation from the English. So let's take a look at the move the tortoise 50 pixels. You'll notice that turned into tortoise.move50. And that seems like it's really straightforward. And it is. But it's always important to remember the mapping. First our noun tortoise went to tortoise. Move went to move. 50 pixels reduces just 50, and that period becomes a semicolon. Now this seems trivial, and it is, but a lot of times when you get stuck, it'll be because you're adding words that aren't in the English, or you're forgetting about words that are in the English. A lot of times, that sentence goes. It doesn't always move exactly, as we saw with change the color of the line, change to set pin color. But there is always a mapping, and it is important to pay attention to it. Finally, we have this do the following four times. We're going to use this for. So again, once we do this, you'll notice the red under the stop. We want to stop it four times. Now, there's a lot of different parts to this for loop, and you can tell that because of the different semicolons separating out our sentences. We'll get into what all this means later, but right now it's worth noticing that there are three separate parts. And then this mustache curlies. It's in between here that everything gets repeated. So if I run this right now, you'll notice only one line draws. That's because what's getting repeated is nothing. If I put my cursor here and hit Alt down, I can go and right now, I'm repeating only the color and the move. So when I run it, you'll see the tortoise continues to move forward and only turns that last time once. Let's move it down one more line so we get the whole thing. And now when we run it, we'll see the full square being drawn. Now we have to clean up the English again. Notice this do the following four times maps to our for loop, but also at the same time, the repeat maps to the curly brace. Oh, you'll see I just did something wrong. You can tell because a whole bunch of red started to show up. 
It's really easy to do things wrong as you program, but there's always a simple solution. You can always just hit Control Z slowly until the red goes away. Once it goes away, give it a run again, just to make sure that you actually have restored yourself to a working place. But once you realize that you have, you can now continue. The worst situation here is you lose the one line you just worked at. And this is another reason it's important to take small steps. Here we are again and make the tortoise move as fast as possible. Shift enter will give me a new line. Tortoise dot. And I want to change something. So it's going to start with the word set. In this case, I want to set the speed. And again, it's important to read your documentation. So much of programming is going to be illuminated in the different pieces of documentation. Here telling me 10 means the fastest. Let's give that one more run. You can see super tortoise there. And now we've translated the entire recipe.